Curtis, we just heard uh, Coach Heupel say that Craig's going to be 100% and ready to go. What's going to mean to you to have him back out there uh, on the field this week? Um, just having great back means that our running back um, room is that much stronger. Uh, we have that much more confidence. Just being able to have my brother on the field, um, even if I'm not at running back, at receiver, I just know that the team is in good hands, even when he's not on the field. So when him on the field, it's kind of like, it makes us all feel a little bit better. I would just, as I'd ask a lot of the guys, what's it like, you know, with the senior leadership, the leaders stepping up, what have you guys been asking for from some of the younger players and what's your kind of goal in the next three weeks? Um, just not to give in, not to give up. Uh, kind of had that bend but don't break mentality. That I think that's very important for the situation that we're in now. Um, just being able to fight through it, uh, make it past that wall. If you got to jump it, run through it, run around it. Um, that's just something we have to do to get past that block. And uh, I feel like the, the younger guys have been listening and the way we've been practicing, I feel like we, we should be fine. We should be fine. I already said there's some Louisiana guys on the roster, Nate Evans, obviously, Brendan Hayes. Have you gotten a sense of how important a game like it, this is to, to those guys when they go back home and play in front of you know friends and family? Oh, yeah. Um, since the first week, not that they're looking ahead, but um, just, just me seeing that we're playing in, in New Orleans, uh, I know that's, that's very important because that's that's kind of like a what a, like a ten hour drive, eight hour drive. Um, not all their family are gonna be able to come and watch. Uh, they gotta watch on TV. So them being in their own city, um, their family, their friends are able to come. It's kind of like a home game for them. I feel like it's pretty cool. Maybe you guys that yeah. kind of got that message got lost a little bit. Maybe you guys were really more worried, you're concerned about that, and then you know lost a little bit of the fun, I guess, so to speak. Um, yeah. But I think that happened. That happened the years before. Uh, just that we wanted, to, we were so focused on winning that uh, we we kind of lost sight of how blessed we are to play. Um, especially this year. This year we um we were so focused on winning. We didn't even want to slip up, and if we did, that's what would cause commotion between each other. Uh, not being, not saying that we we were pissed off at each other, but we have these high expectations and standards that we don't want to mess up at all. And, um, I think that that could have hurt us a little bit. Just us wanting to be so perfect. Um, we, that that can create small arguments that doesn't need to happen. Do you guys, uh, with Nate and, and Brendan going back to Louisiana this weekend, is there a little bit of a feeling of maybe trying to get this win this weekend, not only just for yourselves, but also maybe to kind of send them out on their own home turf a little bit? Yeah, um, that's something That's something that people dream of. Um, like, if I was able to play in Jacksonville, I know that I'll have people that, that usually won't be able to make it to Orlando. Um, they'll be able to come to my game in Jacksonville. So I know, I know the feeling for them. Um, trust me, they want to win. Uh, they've been putting in the work all season. They've been looking forward to it. They've been trying to get tickets for it. So um, this game is, is very big for them, um, especially especially Nate. Nate is a, a, a great person. Nate is somebody that I, I clung to uh, growing, coming in and getting older and stuff like that. He took me under his wing. So I want to do it for him especially. He talked about, joked a little bit at the podium about the game you guys played, about controlling who's the hotel, running the hotel. What's that What's that like, I mean, for you guys to, to have that kind of thing? Um, it just it just helps us uh, take our, our mind off of football. Um, we've been so locked in going into the hotel that we're able to uh, relax and kind of kind of realize that we're kind of young again. So, of course, he's going to tell y'all about how they how they jump on me, but he don't want to tell y'all about how we get him when he's by himself. Um, we just, that's just something that we love to do. Um, we, it makes us feel young again. Do you guys, is that, what's what's the, what's the, the like, is it, a, you guys just jump on each other when you guys are kind of yeah. unexpected, like pop out somewhere and jump on you when you're yeah. walking around? Yeah, it's, it's kind of like, um, that. I really feel like that game can make you closer to your position group because you don't want to walk around. I don't want to walk alone knowing that the linebackers are looking for me, and neither does he want to walk around alone knowing that the running backs and the receivers are looking for him. So that makes you a lot closer to your group going into the game. Who, I know there was a young guy scrimmage last week. So uh, who jumped? Who jumped out? And who, who impressed you maybe with their play? I know they said some of the players were coaching the guys. Uh, what did you think of it? Um, Mary is good. He played. Awesome. Uh, that's something that I knew he had in him. That's something that the running backs knew that he had in him. So we've been uh, pushing him extremely hard all, all year. I think that the extra lifts that he's been getting in and um, him actually understanding the players now, uh, that showed 
this this uh, recent scrimmage, just him doing the small things, right, the small details. He ran for like 300 yards and had like three touchdowns. So, yeah. Yeah. So that was, that was a, something great because now he has the confidence that he can do it in college. Um, was Brandon Wimbush playing on that one? Because Jacob Harris said he was just running crazy and had like yeah, a monster game. I guess at running back or something, or yeah. was a receiver. Or? He went he went in at running back um, a couple times and he caught a couple of passes at receiver. So that was that was fun because I know that that this season is not what he expected. Um, uh, but he's been a great leader. Um, that's just something that he just decided to do. He didn't have to do it. Right. Um, he just decided to go out there and play play different positions, and uh, he's strong. I can tell you that. He's, he's very strong. Uh, he still understands his offense, so at, at any moment he can come in and, and do whatever we need him to do. So um, that, that scrimmage showed a lot for the young guys. That showed um, the young guys that we have confidence in them to be able to run certain plays because Maybe some of them wasn't a basic install, so uh, that scrimmage was huge, especially for the for the offensive guys. Okay, I appreciate it. Thanks a lot, Otis. Thanks Thank a lot, man.